Hello everyone and welcome, my name's Ali8. Today I have a ton of Call of Duty Ghost information for you guys referring to multiplayer, including how to unlock additional characters within multiplayer, including how many creator class options you get per character, um, all of the marksman rifles and some additional details about one of the marksman rifles, which is very, very cool information on the C4, uh, character customization, loads and loads of stuff, which is so, so awesome. I also have the reveal trailer for you guys. I'm going to show you guys reveal trailer first you guys can let me know what you think of it down below in the comment section and then i'm going to give you guys all of the multiplayer information we have for today today monday is day one of a whole week of information where we're going to be getting call of duty ghost news so every single day of this week if i find that the information is relevant and new i will share it with you guys so make sure you're checking back here on my channel every single day also make sure you're checking out the awesome ali a army t-shirts in the description they're really really cool thank you to all of you guys that have got them already but without further ado let's jump into reveal trailer and then more call of duty ghost information So before I jump into this new information I've been talking about, just reflecting on that reveal trailer quickly, the characters and their faces really sort of convey a lot of emotion. You can obviously tell that this is running on the new consoles. Both the PlayStation 4 and Xbox One will have Call of Duty Ghosts uh, as a title to be playable. I'm going to be playing Call of Duty Ghosts on the Xbox One, the PlayStation 4, the Xbox 360, PS3 and PC. So I'm going to be playing it on all platforms and all of them will be covered here on my channel, showing comparisons, etc. On top of that, uh, a lot of the campaign stuff you saw in that reveal trailer I'll be covering on my channel because I did a complete walkthrough for Black Ops 2 last year on my channel and of course I'm going to be doing the exact same this year with a complete walkthrough of Call of Duty Ghosts. So that's going to be awesome, look forward to that but let's now jump into some new information regarding Ghosts. So I've picked up loads of pieces of information, a lot of little things that I haven't seen anywhere else. So this is very exciting, lots of new stuff to share with you guys. First of all here we've got an image from the squads menu. You guys may be thinking squads don't care about that, but in fact squads translates directly over to multiplayer. All of your uh, class options, character options, XP and squad points. Squad points are things you will earn when you rank up, which you can then spend uh, on items such as attachments, weapons, um, classes, etc. within multiplayer. So everything Translates from multiplayer to squads and from squads to multiplayer. Squads is just where you will go to play against bots to train up a little bit, to go and play survival mode, sort of like the extension mode to multiplayer. So everything does carry on over between those two modes just to make that clear. Now the next image here clearly showed 10 characters. These 10 characters can be unlocked simply by spending your squad points. Now this person's only level 4 and has 600 squad points. Of course that's unrealistic. This person just has a ton of squad points just so they can show... Um, us basically all the different things that are within multiplayer but squad points are going to be hard to unlock and you're going to earn these as you play through multiplayer and you can spend them wherever you want if you want to unlock a new um character within multiplayer which you can rank up you can do so by spending some of your squad points next up here we now know that the maximum number of classes with for a individual character is six which means technically you can have 60 different classes 10 characters six classes each um, but when you go into multiplayer and you choose your one character to go into multiplayer with, you're going to have six loadouts to use. So I guess that's actually a step down from having ten normally. Um, but that's how it's going to work within Call of Duty Ghosts. We have a look at some of the new assault killstreaks in the bottom there. What looks like a sentry gun for seven. 
and some sort of powerful helicopter for a nine streak. Next up here we get to have a look at the USR. As you can see this character is only level four but has USR unlocked. So if you're spending your points in um, the way that you want to, you can unlock any weapon uh, in any order you want. So if you want to go ahead and get an awesome sniper rifle right off the bat, you can do so. If you want to go and get an awesome submachine gun straight away, you can do so as well. You're not limited in terms of a level, you're just limited in terms of how you spend your squad points. Uh, next up here we have a look at one of the new secondary weapons which is a, called the PDW uh, but looks to me like to be a pistol and it's a three round burst pistol um, so I guess this is going to be probably used quite a lot. I've never used this myself uh, so I'm not sure if it's going to be really powerful like the B23R. I assume it will be um, uh, moderated in terms of power so it isn't too powerful but that is one of the new secondary weapons available within multiplayer. Next up here we get to see the C4 lethal and it is confirmed that you can still detonate the C4 very quickly by double tapping square or double tapping X and um, some people thought that maybe this, this wouldn't return because it gave you the ability to explode C4 very very quickly uh, within Black Ops 2. I use it a lot because it's very very powerful, very good for getting people that are around corners. Um, it'll be interesting to see how powerful the C4 is in Ghost compared to Black Ops 2. Next up here we have a full list and look at the points for all of the perks within Call of Duty Ghost. I've done a video explaining what all of them are. I believe some of the images have been altered slightly, just uh, sort of changed in little ways. But now we get a look at how much all of these perks are going to cost. Um, ranging from one to five points, which is very, very cool. And I believe there are over 30 to choose from there, so a lot uh, in total. Now, next up here is a very interesting point. So you get eight points to spend on your perks as standard. And I knew, and I'd explained to you guys before, that if you removed a tactical, lethal, and secondary, for each one of those that you uh, removed, you got an additional point to spend on perks. So it was thought that 11 was the maximum number of points you could have to spend on perks, but it seems that if you remove your primary, you also get an additional point. So it, you can actually have 12 points maximum to spend on perks if you get rid of everything else. So your, your secondary, primary, lethal, and tactical, maximum number of points you can go ahead and spend on perks, which is quite cool. So some choices there to be made. Next up here we get to have a look at some of the options within the uh, customization uh, side of things for multiplayer. Special, uh, which we didn't get to have a look at. Uh, gender, head, headgear, uniform, patch, um, background and clan tag. And if I go into the actual options here. Uh, we can see some of the differences. You can change the skin tone of your character. You can change the headgear of your character. You can change the bodysuit of your character as well. We've got heavy on the left there. Tons and tons of options. It looks like there are about 10 or 15 options under each of those different categories. So hundreds, thousands, millions of different options in terms of the way you can actually customize your character within multiplayer, which is very, very cool. Next up here, we have a look at the Marksman Rifles, a confirmed list, SVU, uh, AI2, the MK, 14 and the MR28 and a very cool thing is that the MR28 has a built-in foregrip. We've seen a built-in silencer with a honey badger and uh, it appears that this marksman rifle is going to have a built-in foregrip as well. Perhaps we'll see built-in attachments for other weapons maybe across the submachine gun class and assault rifle class as well which we haven't seen thus far but it's very cool to see uh, that they're including stuff like built-in attachments to these weapons it means you don't have to waste an attachment it's already built in which is very very cool. Uh, next up here is something specific to squads. Uh, here you can see all of the 10 characters and the symbol on the left shows that the six that have been chosen. The golden one is the character that you will be controlling. The other five will be controlled by AI when you're playing a squads mode. Um, so just some of the sort of selections and some of the options available within squads there to show off for you guys. And uh, that is everything I have for you guys. I pretty much went through um, all of the details that we got today, broke it all down for you. And as I said, throughout the rest of this week, Tuesday, Wednesday, Thursday, Friday, we're going to be getting more information. All this information is specific to, go uh, to squads within Ghost. So if I feel that it's not relevant or not too interesting, I won't necessarily share it. But if I find something cool, uh, I'll bring it this information to you guys every single day this week just to make sure you guys are filled in with the latest Call of Duty Ghost information which is really really awesome 
I've also started recently my Road to Call of Duty Ghost series where I jump on Modern Warfare 3, play live and get into the mode and sort of zone for Infinity Ward games because of course Call of Duty Ghost is made by Infinity Ward. So if you haven't seen any of those videos, definitely check them out because they're a ton of fun. But if you guys have enjoyed this video, give it a thumbs up. Hopefully you guys are really excited for Call of Duty Ghost as well. As I said at the beginning of the video, I'm going to be getting Call of Duty Ghost on all platforms. I'll be doing comparisons of all of them and seeing which ones maybe look a bit better. Maybe the Xbox One or the PS4 has slight graphical differences, but in all honesty, I think they'll look pretty much the same on the next generation consoles, but it will be cool to compare the next gen with the current gen uh, graphics, which will be very, very cool as well. But thank you so much for watching, guys. Really hope you've enjoyed. As I said, give it a thumbs up if you've done so. If you haven't seen any of the videos um, on screen here, definitely do so. A big, big thank you to all of you guys that are also supporting my second channel and putting out daily videos on there of Minecraft, Mario Kart, um, lots of different Wii U games, lots of fun games that I've been playing that you wouldn't normally see here on my main channel. So thank you so much for watching, guys. Really hope you've enjoyed. Two weeks to go until Call of Duty goes. Not long now at all. And I'll see you guys on my next video.